Hello, Let's everyone. Welcome to another episode of a gaming podcast, episode four, jam pack episode for you guys. It's so much to talk about, and I'm super, super excited to um, dive right in. Sammy, how how was your week going? It's going pretty good. Had mm-hmm. to film some things. We uh, all launched our AC Mirage content I saw earlier this week. Awesome. So keep going doing that. Yeah. You know, I was a little afraid because. I I was I was like oh why didn't you launch yours yet and then you're like oh no I think both Steve's My broke Marco apart. My Marco was nine PT like very specifically and then I panicked when I saw yours yeah. both of yours oh. and I was just like no they I was just like, have both a different Steve's embargo time. at the same time that like what's weird. going on yeah. yeah yeah we agreed we're like hey you want to cause some new uh, you want to be a nuisance today to Ubisoft let's break embargoes baby yeah. <laughs> I, that's I, weird to me. I don't. I don't remember getting yeah. Like, yeah. No, they did oh. send us an email. They sent us a separate email saying that the that the embargo had changed. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get that one. Maybe oh, that, okay. was <laughs> that was. The, no, that, that would make that sense because it was like, it was twelve. It was yeah. originally twelve. Yeah. yeah. And that's when yeah. my content got pushed out. It was twelve. Okay. Yeah. That was mm. the that was mm. the initial one, and then there was yeah. an email that said that you could go out at eight a.m. <laughs> Okay, okay. Thank, yeah, yeah. Thank I'm just going to drop something in the chat real quick because I'm very <laughs> curious to gauge. Yeah. I want to okay. see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank right, God right. for paper trails. Uh, Steve V, uh, you, how's your week going? It's good. It's busy, like like Sammy alluded to. Um, it's been a, a fantastic. Wow, this is. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. What is this? Um, <laughs> Riley just dropped the yeah. collector's people edition are of horny for this. Oh, oh yeah. my God! Wow. Final Fantasy Rebirth collection right. yeah. edition. Yeah. And this is this is this is nice looking. Um, it's so, cool. It's cool. Sorry, me, sorry Steve. How, my, my, how my was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so distracted right yeah. now. Uh, no, oh it was, God. It was a good week. It dropped uh, AC Mirage content, Forza content, and then I w- I flew out to LA, which we'll uh, talk about in a little bit. But it's been a jam packed week, even more jam packed because literally every big company in the world was like, "Hey, you know what would be really cool to do to all journalists? Let's just host events." Apple. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo, PlayStation, all, so like all in the cool span week. of three days. They're like, here's yeah. everything. Good luck, you know. So yeah. it's mm-hmm. pretty wild. Uh, and yeah. then Steve Saylor, how are you doing? I know you're under the weather. Thank you so much for being here, sir. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. I uh, I'm here to do my duty, and uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm just here. I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cool I'm to just show scared. this week, so I'm like, I just feel like, okay, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, fine. It's I'm fine. You're, at, you're at like 50% level of Steve Saylor right now, so <laughs> hopefully we'll get up to 100% based on what the news today, but we will see. We'll Absolutely. get it up there. Absolutely. Riley, dropping in some big splashes for us. How are you doing, Riley? Good, good. Yeah, it's been a busy week, obviously, with a bunch of product going live. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later, but yeah, yeah, busy week, but a good week. Absolutely. So, you know, let's just dive right into the state of play um this happened just now and what did you guys think of it who wants to 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 take the floor anyone could go right ahead (laughs) it started kind of terrible and i was like all right Mm -hmm. this is like it because like the opening moment you want that to set the tone and then it was just kind of like a drunk guy in the dirt all right yeah yeah (laughs) well you don't want ghostbusters what do you mean ghostbusters is fine the one before that baby steps was very interesting this was a very edgy state of play, I must say. There was just f bombs everywhere, like left, right, and center. And I think the best tagline was, "I'm glad you you wrote this down, Steve. I can remember it now." Was that right. you think you can swallow me whole? That was uh, that was one. Leon Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, he's, you know, he's got the, he's got that silver tongue, you know. He's just exactly <laughs> silver to speak to. You know, he might have a silver PlayStation. Actually, I was about to say, you know, oh, like silver tongue, okay. silver PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Well done, well done there. Uh, but yeah, go right ahead. Whoever, like Steve, what did you think of the show? Uh, Steve S. Steve V. I mean, sorry. The, oh, yeah. Um, Find it out, I Steve. It was, sorry. <laughs> it was it was fine. I mean, I think yeah. Starting with baby steps, it definitely sets a precedent of like what kind of caliber we're going to get of a state of play of any kind of like presentation. It's always like the first impression kind of means the most, and I think that was the weirdest kind of way to start it. Not only was it a weird game to start, it just went very long. 
yeah. um for like an ip or even like a game we just have never seen before so that one was weird and then it kind of progressively got a little bit better in my opinion anyways we started getting like some actual um i mean for me at least psvr2 any kind of pops for those that's always going to grab my attention um ghostbusters was great resident evil 4 the vr mode seeing it again that's very enticing to me and then yeah just some known quantities like avatar i'll say like i think that was for me like the best showing of that game so far um i think that was the first trailer that actively sold me on the game yeah. more than it was just oh it's blue far cry that's that yeah. seems fun this one actively <laughs> like showed like okay this is a game like i'm looking forward to in december and then obviously the uh the pop at the end final fantasy 7 rebirth it was that that game just looks incredibly uh, awesome i'm actually really surprised that we saw so much from final fantasy and not only that to, to see that it's come out in february as well and like a what a like state like just a sl like slam your hand on the table statement like two disc that's it i mean like oh it's this gigabytes no two discs that's right back in like throw, a great throwback <laughs> in the era when discs are printed like they're blu-ray discs that's how much data is <laughs> yeah. on those discs that they need two of them like that seems wild to me yeah absolutely insane yeah. uh steve sailor what did you what are your thoughts on it sir <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I, I like. I, I will say this. I, I there was at least something for everyone yep. in in this, and that is something that they did promise that they were going to deliver. That there was something for everyone. I'm sure that you know people are really uh, jazzed about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and uh, uh, and Baby Steps. I guess people will probably be excited for that. And I know some folks would be interested in Hell Divers Two or Ghostbusters. I'm like, sure, okay, yeah, and yeah. then Resident Evil Four awesome yeah but i don't know it just it it didn't really hit as much as i wanted not the, that i expected to be like a like a uh -oh, full-on like oh my gosh this is an amazing sh like showcase of games that are gonna be coming to playstation but i was like yeah okay i hey i basically if any of these games come out and people really love them and people really like them i'll probably check them out but didn't really sort of hit a hundred percent for me i think probably the one that i'm just probably still like, very excited about is spider-man i mean everything everybody pretty much is and seeing like the fact that like i mean steve you'll probably be able to talk about about that about that in a minute but like seeing mm -hmm. that we're now seeing all of new york you could switch between both the both peter and miles and there'll be missions for both peter and miles or the specific spider-man depending on which borough they're in that kind of thing i thought was pretty cool uh so and i'm i'm curious about the accessibility of course but you know we'll, we'll see the, like insomniac has been pretty good about that uh at, like for the past few so i'm excited to see what they're gonna have in there this time around but yeah i mean it, it, uh, i give it a i give it a b minus let's just say yeah, that's, that's, a, that's yeah. a passable grade. You know, it's, it's, I, you, pass, yeah, it's yeah. a pass. It's you know, failure, yeah, yeah. yeah you, just, you, know, you won't put it on the pass. fridge or anything, but you know, you'd be like, no. oh, you know, it's another no, pass. I'll put know. on the fridge if I was like a five-year-old. I'd be in like, okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, great. You know, <laughs> <laughs> did a good job. Yeah, but now this is like from coming from like a fifteen-year-old. I'm like, I ain't putting that on the fridge. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Riley, how about you? What What were your thoughts on it? I thought it was exactly what it needed to be ahead of Tokyo Game Show uh yep. you know kind of got some of the partner stuff out um which was expected i was surprised by the controller and uh plate uh availability which to me would signal that if that's going into production we're not seeing a console revision this year yeah those are told you yeah. told you Steve was right. Steve I was right. He was right. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I, like we, look, there's a lot of wild speculation. And I'm not knocking. I won't take any like any credit for everything like that. But yeah, I just with with everything that's like, they've got going into the into the holiday season, it just like they've got two pieces of hardware coming out: the Axis controller and the PlayStation Portal. Um, the fact that now I guess we're gonna have co covers and, and new controllers. That's enough. I think it's gonna get them through to the holiday season until next year. Your what you're what we were talking. About, I don't know what we want to discuss that though, those rumors, but I think what you were saying definitely is going to happen. I just didn't think it was going to be by the end of this year. No, I think that's fair, and, and I think that that's probably the result of them uh, still having a reserve of existing hardware that they need mm -hmm. to move prior to anything else. So I think they had a good window for opportunity to keep pushing that this holiday and then maybe recalibrate next year. Sure. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of PlayStations being sold, especially now that Final Fantasy, and maybe that's the reason why they, they didn't do a revision as well. Final Fantasy VII is coming out in February, which is something I did not see at all. Like, I thought that was going to be like, oh, guaranteed next winter title or something like that. 
and I'm actually really, really surprised to see that game come out that uh, that early as well. Um, and then I, that's probably the right. They're like, oh, here's some new covers you can buy, which is kind of cool. You yeah. can you can buy out the covers or you get those in the, in those colors in the, as well. Um, but yeah, well, I th- th- yeah. also but, just uh, jump mm-hmm. in and add to that. They also introduced the the Spider Man bundle as well. I'm sure yeah. that they were like, okay, what can we either do? Yeah. Introduce a new Absolutely. skew or yeah. sell gangbusters just by like just that. throwing on a couple extra covers and yeah. double downing on what we already have. So uh, I'm kind of with yeah Steve here and and Riley just saying like, okay, they're probably just gonna flush all their current stock out by the holiday season and then kind of maybe look at. A revision uh console maybe next spring or something who knows yeah foam stars didn't uh, foam stars didn't work on you guys or anything mm, <laughs> i don't know, I, don't know. <laughs> I was at summer game fest and there was a lot of people that were demoing that and they every single person i talked to that played it was loving it they actually really liked it it was kind of the surprise like really did that actually really okay sure whatever and so who knows it could actually be pretty good but uh, the one thing I also, because I, I just did re- I recorded reactions to it, but yeah. one thing I kind of thought of was that th- I, I, I dislike trailers when they, when, they t- when they showcase the different characters in these games as if we're supposed to care who these characters are. It's like, oh my God, it's Penguin. <laughs> like, oh, I can't believe we're going to get her in this game. Oh my God. Like, why? Like, why? Like, it's like, we don't know. We don't yeah. care yet. <laughs> Wait, which game are you referencing? Foam Star. Foam Star. Okay. They did oh, that whole so, section oh, yeah, where they're yeah. just like, you can play this person yeah. and this Listen, person. I, as like, soon Ooh. as Foam Stars came up, I I, I feel like <laughs> I just went into like a, a blackout mode where I was like, I this isn't doing it for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Square. You mean you didn't? You yeah. didn't? You're not excited that the KDA knockoff character is in the game? No. No, I love the original <laughs> KDA. Oh, all right. Well, maybe DLC. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Sorry, Riley. What were you going to say? Oh, I, yeah. I'm just, uh, I mean, like, I know it's probably a little too late into development to pivot, uh, especially in the wake of some of the stock news where Square Enix has dropped $2 billion in value. Um, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, they're now going to ride in on Foam Stars and Final Fantasy VII, which I think is a good one. But I also think they mismarketed that because they announced that alongside Final Fantasy XVI. So, sixteen by comparison, is like, a, to be honest, it's a lesser game in the eyes of many consumers. So, it's it's just like a... I don't know what they're doing from a marketing perspective over there. Yeah. So, I'm I'm very confused about some of the decisions they're making, but hopefully they're able to ride it out and get through the other side without being acquired or something yeah I th- uh, hands hands up who would actually think that square enix is going to be bought by playstation within the next year or two i mean i it, could see it's it very <sighs> yeah two <sighs> years yeah next year probably not i could see it in two though i don't know with that relationship with nintendo as well though <sighs> i guess it depends what the, with the, the point xbox is too so who knows but like, I don't know. I, now you have me thinking. Now, yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't, I don't want that it's, to happen. To be honest, like, no, I want you to leave that alone. <laughs> it's not, it's not unlike the Activision circumstances that yeah. led to them being acquired. So, right. it, it is, it's not a good position to be in for, for them. And that being bought out is an easy way out for shareholders. So, it wouldn't surprise me if yeah. that, if that is something that happens. But I hope they can figure it out because I like the collaborations with Nintendo. I like that they've recommitted to xbox recently i like i like their collaborations with playstation i hope that they're able to maintain their relationships across all platforms although i'm i I know it's not you know mainstream or anything but they also commit pretty heavily into mobile as well Mm -hmm. yeah which is true which is unlike a lot of other studios so i mean maybe that works in playstation's favor maybe they're looking at something like that i don't know yeah yeah now you have me uh you have me worried now steve thanks a lot you know (laughs) Uh, I, know, I mean, just the, the financials and everything. No, I, I, I may, no, definitely, definitely for sure. Um, well, of, then we saw Spider Man as well, and I figured this is a good segue to dive into uh, the other uh, Steve, to Steve, Steve V and the coverage that you saw. They just threw everything at us. They're like, okay, you want Spider Man? Here you go. You could you could go into different cities. You could you could switch between Spider. You could switch between uh, Peter and Miles and everything. And like this, there's double the size of the city and new gear and everything. And little Easter eggs, maybe a little Mysterio might be in the game as well or something like that. Um. So what's what's the what's the news you got for us, Steve? 
yeah i guess i guess just to kind of put it all into perspective so that like block of video that like brian and tar went uh, and talked through that's exactly what we were shown like at the the top of the event that i went to, uh to la for yeah. and then basically we got 90 minutes or so uh to kind of go through literally all the content that you kind of saw in that uh with some some exceptions like the the mysterio stuff was never touched on we still have no idea like yeah. what the the big the the big lead up or anything to do with that is I just, uh, my, the like Mysterio lot. thing is just like my assumption when I looked at it I was like that looks like it's simple I was right there with you yeah. like I was okay. sitting in the room I was like that's Mysterio that's yeah. Mysterio yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we don't know what you're talking about like, I was like, super dodgy about that one um, yeah. but yeah I guess the I guess the best like I have like a whole bunch of notes that I took uh, throughout like my play session and everything so I was just gonna kind of just open it up to the floor if you guys had like mm -hmm questions leading up to like what you saw during it i think i can kind of bring some contextual framing to that um versus just kind of going like beat by beat of like what i saw um might be better how, i don't know how smooth is the actual yeah. like switching between the the characters and the different parts of the city because i remember in, in miles morales like it was impressive the fact on the ps5 you could basically go into a subway and within like literally less than three seconds you're right. already outside the subway and you're and, and you're good to go absolutely so so it is smooth doing the the swap the only thing um that they kind of talked about uh especially like behind the scenes was like if you open up your map you can it, it has nothing to do with the subway points or anything like that if you see an icon you can just traverse there unfortunately oh. that wasn't part of the build i i played the, the build i was using was like six weeks old or something like that it was unavailable during that time but they're talking about like using the ssd to its full advantage it's a game built from the ground up for the playstation 5 so everything that you're kind of hoping for in terms of the the quickness and fast travel and smooth smoothness and transitions and stuff like that i think they're going to be able to pull off um with with great uh prowess I, I like they're really leaning into everything that they learned from rift apart and then bringing it into this game oh okay no that's really really cool yeah that was i was trying to give the first question i was gonna ask with how smooth it was as well switching between the characters and um like i, I heard there's new animations for the for web stinging as well and like like yeah. how, like how was the movie with going in within the cities and everything i i think awesome um I, i'm loving exactly like how they're both evolving what the the ways that peter traverses the city and miles and then making those both feel different i mean uh miles still does like his tricks and everything you see it like come up on this on the on the side of the screen and everything and then obviously the the web or the wingsuit is next level i i was super skeptical about that going into the game i was like do we really need that the web the web swinging is like perfected in the first two games like why do we really need the the web suit and once you start playing around with that and like oh it, it's very satisfying to play and i'll tell you guys insomniac just made the proof of concept that you can make a superman game the, really? the, way that you're, oh, the way that you're just no. lying <laughs> okay they did it and i i'm sorry but like they just they, they flexed on you every other studio. <laughs> <laughs> like I, that's that's it, awesome to hear that's yeah, really so, good to so hear, one yeah. of the cool things is that like once you once you start like once you open it up and you're just kind of going like you'll see like air um like almost like like wind go through like in between uh buildings and stuff like that and you can kind of like follow it and it gives you momentum so it keeps you up in the sky there's also like little circles almost kind of like superman 64 where you'll go through them and you'll again build momentum and stuff like that but just the way it actually works is it adds so much dimension to this game like i i was having a lot of fun just going through uh going from like one borough like going from queens to uh brooklyn and stuff like that and like going over, over below the bridges is even is even fun and one of the cool things is that going to your question about like animations because now they're introducing like crossing over water if you're using the wingsuit and you touch the water peter just like skates over it <laughs> Oh, okay, like super okay. Super slick, like super <laughs> slick. Like they thought of everything. Like, okay, what if you're, you know, swinging? Like, it's not gonna be fun if you drop into the water and then gameplay kind of stops. <laughs> glug, so you're, glug, you're forced, you know? to, <laughs> yeah, you're forced <laughs> to like swing your way up, build momentum, and everything. It's like, no, you just keep yeah. going and going. Like, 
they oh they covered all their bases i'm really excited for people yeah. to kind of try and they're try really and, uh, they're really sticking it to those puddle haters eh oh yeah they're like <laughs> puddles no we got we got rivers now dog <laughs> honestly though like water in video games that's like my jam i love like a good high animated water yeah absolutely um yeah and i guess just for contextual sake of like the the story and everything the the demo that i kind of like opened up with like you brought into peter he's already got the black suit and everything and essentially what what happens is like Dr. Kirk Connors is already a lizard and everything as we as we know, but Craven is the one that kind of has the antidote. So Peter's like on this mission, I gotta save my friend, I gotta save my mentor and everything. He's hunting down Craven just as Craven is hunting him down as this like quote unquote like final hunt. So you yeah. get like this juxtaposed like almost battle between the two. Um, and along the way, you can just see Peter like wrestle with the symbiote in both um, just the way, like the brutality in the combat, just the way he's speaking to people. Uh, it's very, very heavily inspired by the 90s animated series when Peter has the black yeah. suit, like just the just the tonal reflections in, in the way he speaks to people reminds me so much of uh, that Spider-Man. Awesome. Man, I love that. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, this is so cool. I, don't, I I didn't even see anything. I'm ready, like blown away by it. They're like, so so here's here's the <laughs> ultimate question. Sure. Did you get to play as a symbiote? No. Mm. Damn it. You didn't see all 19 inches of Venom? Of Venom, no. No, no that, that was nothing. Nothing Venom was alluded to. Nothing Venom was mm -hmm. was brought gotcha. to the table. Um, so you didn't even get like a chance to try out the Venom powers and stuff. Oh, no, I, I played Black Suit Spider-Man the oh, entire you time. Oh, Black Suit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that is brutal like you actively feel like oh Sp Peter Parker's just murking people at this point <laughs> because of how <laughs> how like some some of the the moves are are so vicious in a way that it almost feels like you would be murdering people yeah. i don't know it might change it might um, change the game uh, rating or something I'll be yeah <laughs> because like essentially when you have the the black suit you have like this uh whole new skill tree and skill set uh on the screen so you have like adaptive powers that uh refill over time so you basically hold the the left uh bumper and you can kind of select one of four they're all uh selectable on the face buttons and one of them like you, you see it in the trailers and everything like he d shoots out like t uh two tendrils out of each hand and they pick up like four guys slam them on the ground um another one is like there's tendrils that come like out of at, like every facet of his body and just like impale a whole bunch of enemies or like shoot them back uh, but i was like this is this is next level like i don't think i've seen peter parker do this to enemies before it's it's kind of wild to see but can he eat enemies <laughs> no not yet i i have not seen him eat enemies that that's um, that's further along in the skill tree it yeah, could be yeah that yeah. could be not the ps6 yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> um and then miles also has like expansive powers as well like all of his mm -hmm. quote-unquote like venom abilities um they're all um, new as well. Like everything that I got to play with is brand new to the game. It's not like recycled abilities. I'm sure they're in there in some uh, capacity, but uh, they're they're adding like new skill trees, new abilities to unlock and stuff like that. It's this isn't like for everyone that had a worry that, oh, because they're reusing a lot of like the same assets, the city, stuff like that. Oh, this is just going to be like a half ass kind of entry. I, I don't I, nothing I saw in the game kind of felt half ass. It felt very much like, oh, this is a proper sequel to everything that they built over uh, the last few years. So I guess uh, the one question I have is what about this is better than the original? Like if you're if you're selling it to someone who played the original, it's like, yeah. what, what's in this for me? Uh, the original or Miles Morales? Uh, both. Let's say both. What's what's different from those games? I, I think the traversal aspects definitely if you you feel like you have way more momentum it's much faster in a way like i i just think that goes a long way just built incorporating the the wingsuit improving on the way that spider-man swung around is that's why i asked about whether or not we're talking about the original or miles because i think mm -hmm. miles already did an improvement to traversal from the original i think that bridge though between the original to number two is is far greater now because of everything insomniac has done um Additionally to that, I just think that it, it runs better. Again, I wasn't able to see like the full power of the SSD, but just buying concept, what they're talking about, uh, everything just feels more uh, 
expansive, more more fast. And then I'm just invested in the story. Honestly, I think that Craven, like I don't know if anyone here is like a diehard Craven fan. I know he was like a B tier for me, but yeah. the moment that you see Craven in this game, like he acted like. The voice acting that's going into Craven specifically is so good. They're, he's really selling it of like, um, just like a very uh, nefarious foe, to, so to speak. There's one awesome aspect uh, to to Craven um, that I really want to touch on is that during the 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 first kind of like interaction you see w between the two. Um, uh, Peter swings swings off and Craven kind of just looks at him and he's like, yeah, that's that's my final hunt, uh, which everyone kind of knows like that's Craven's MO and everything. Later down the line when you're playing Miles, you're up against like a whole bunch of like Craven's foes and every, everything and they they just call out, they're like, yeah, Craven doesn't give a shit about this guy, just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, because like Craven is after Peter's Spider-Man. He doesn't care about Miles. Like, Miles is just like Damn! Uh, wow! Like, All like, right, he Craven. Away. Like he's like, whatever. Wow. I want Peter's Spider-Man. Like that's my final hunt. That I I thought that was such a cool <laughs> dynamic that even like he's telling his mercenaries like, whatever. This guy's this guy's nothing. He's a kid. Like just just waste the guy, and then we'll go after the big guy. I I I love that stuff. So that's yeah, cool. definitely the story for me is uh, definitely a selling point. No, that's definitely wild. Well, I always that. saw I always saw Craven as like you said, he was like a beat. To, he was like the shocker or or the or the like the scorpion like he wasn't like you know doc ock or venom or even carter right. or something like that you know like so you're like the fact that they're making him seem like a bigger deal is pretty it's a well like well done touch to the story i would say so and i'll give you guys all a little a little exclusive here Ooh. everyone who was uh freaking out all, all all over the internet everyone they saw their character posters oh i love the spider man oh, i love the venom one Lizard one comes out, everyone's like, Where's the lab coat? Where's the lab coat? Yeah. Lab coat is in the game, baby. It's Let's in go. The game. <laughs> lab coat, right. purple <laughs> pants, it's there. I mean, it's not on them all the time, but there's a there's a moment where you see it. And I was like, Oh, they they knew to <laughs> cover go. all their bases. Everyone can relax. Oh, yeah. la oh, the world is safe. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. I appreciate it. Sammy, did you have any questions about Spider Man? Additional I questions? Think we pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> Is there a sassy evil dance down the street with Peter going with the finger guns? That's we don't what know I yet. Know. They're okay. definitely holding some stuff close to the chest. There okay. is the bull Bully Maguire Spider Man suit is in the game. So okay. maybe, maybe. I love um, that. I love yeah. that. Wait, wait, it is? Yeah. Wait, it's like the act it actually is? Like, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not pulling my leg? Yeah. Spider Man 3 black suit, yeah. Oh shit! Okay, I have hope. I have hope. <laughs> there you go. That street. Yeah, if this, okay. yeah. Some some of the some of the suits that were unlocked that I could uh, play around with. There was like twenty ninety nine Miles Morales, the tenth anniversary Miles Morales uh, suit as well. I didn't play around with a lot of the Peter ones only because like the black suit is pretty tight. I liked it a lot. The advanced two point oh suit looks really nice. Um, but I'm excited to see what else they kind of come up with. I, I'm sure they're. I mean, they already showed like in that video. There's like sixty five, and then they have like the the color swaps the the palette swaps for them as well so you can really get in there and kind of customize a whole bunch which i like do they do it, any uh across the, or into the spider-verse uh, suits suits no but i am 100 con percent convinced they're leading into something just based <laughs> off the gameplay i i so so what happens um is it, it, they kind of showed it in the video as well like you can one of the collectibles are these like little spider bots and the storyline that kind of goes into it is you're kind of trying to figure out who or what is behind them. And every time you get near them, it kind of has like this glitch effect to it. And you, you see it in the, the video as well. And at one point you pick it up as Miles and Genki is on the phone with you. And he's like, this, like the responder for this, like whoever made this is like so far out there we can't even um figure out like what the distance between the two is and there's other ones where you get it and genki like runs like an encryption over it and they try to like piece together the the face of the person and he's like oh there's just a combination of all these faces i'm i don't know wow. man like I'm, I'm just going through like i'm just <laughs> kind of going through it i was like they're sure. leaning into some like multiverse stuff and i would not be surprised if it leads up to like miguel or something just wow. the just the way it's kind of like panning out. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I I wouldn't be like I don't know if it's like 
a full on character in the game or anything, but maybe at the end of the story, they're like, oh, this is this guy from like 2099 or something. I don't yeah. know. But that that's that's the read I got out of it. I was like, oh, they're they're not shying away from maybe like dipping their toe in the multiverse or mm-hmm. into the spider verse. Cause I mean he was in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Why not? So why not? Yeah. 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 Spider Ham Nick- the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Nick Cage <laughs> Spider Man coming right yeah. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Spider dope. Noir, Spider suit. Noir, I you know. That. I would love that suit a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. I wanted to know because I, I remember this from the first one. Uh, is I, um, it was a nice break in, in between stories, and like actually, it actually played very well in the story as well. When you played as Mary Jane, is she is she playable in this game as well? There's already I, I have two know. Spider-Mans as well, so yeah. Um, like I don't, I yeah. don't really know about any kind of side characters that you get to play as. Okay. Um. I know that there there are still like stealth aspects in the game, um, but one of the cool things, like while you're playing uh, Spider-Man in a stealth mission or anything, you can actually shoot your own webs to connect. Like, so so let's say you're like over um, over enemies, like in a in a factory or anything, you can start making like your own like spider web to kind of like traverse over oh. and then kind of hang down and like pull enemies up and stuff like that. It makes the stealth elements a lot more fun in my opinion, because those were kind of the, the parts of the original game that I was like, eh, that's yeah. it's kind of slow. It's kind of meandering part. Like, oh really? Yeah. Like that and, and traversing, like I never use the subway at all. I was sure. just like, I'm swinging across the, the whole city, but the stealth was what I was like really enjoying. Cause part of it as well is that, it is a little bit button mashy when you get into combat. Oh yeah. And like, I, I picked up, uh, like, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try the DLC. Uh, Cause I never really got a chance to play them, uh, from the original. And mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'll jump in. And man, my hands were tired after that. Like first two <laughs> fights, like legit, my fingers were just sore. So I was like, okay, give me a stealth where I can just take as many people out as possible. And at my own pace, I'm good. So I'm glad you, like I did see, I remember seeing that you can make your own webs to kind of like traverse across. I'm like that I'm excited yeah. to try out for sure. It, it's very cool it makes it a lot more fun in my opinion anyways um i i had a great time with that aspect of the game yeah anything cool. accessible that they that uh you're able to ask or do they or they like showcase at the at this uh this demo i can't speak anymore there's so much going on <laughs> I, i'm right there with you no uh, so i didn't want to report on it like on myself because i'm just not not that guy yeah. and also they were very upfront of like this is an older build and we are doing stuff like leading into launch like we're adding okay. more stuff into it so i didn't want to misspeak and say okay this is what's only going to be available in the game this is how it's like I, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and get to launch while all the suite of accessibility features are there. Yeah. I just didn't feel like the build I had kind of reflected what players can look forward to or the standard of which Insomniac is kind of aiming to to deliver upon launch. So I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's the thing. It's I, I, I the thing with at least the accessibility in, in the Spider-Man games and in, basically just Insomniac in general is that mm-hmm. there's always something that will always reflect in the in the next project. Like the stuff that they put into Spider-Man Remastered basically made its way into Miles Morales, and then they expanded on that, and then also that moved into Ratchet and Clank, and now I can I can imagine basically all the those suite of tools will be basically be added in. So I'm assuming based on kind of what we've had in the past, there'll probably be a high contrast mode. Um, There'll probably be a, a game speed mode or at least a similar version of it. Um, there'll probably be like definitely extensive remapping and subtitle options and stuff like that. So that that's just basically uh, like Insomniac has been very good at accessibility. Um, uh, like and they're like one of the one of the big pushers for accessibility within Sony. So uh, I'm I'm sure that there's going to be a lot more that we that we just uh, that uh, obviously we don't know about just yet. But uh, I'm just excited what uh, what new stuff they're going to add in. So. Uh, um, I don't know whether it'll be a perfect sort of accessible game, uh, like we've seen with like a, as close as covering many accessibility aspects or disabled players as like The Last of Us. But I think there, they'll be they'll probably have quite a bit, um, which I'm excited to be able to try out for sure. And even like the core messaging of we're building towards accessibility and everything like that that came from Brian himself. It wasn't like you know a fact sheet or like a pr representative kind of saying it that was like during his presentation to all the the press and everything he made a point to, to kind of talk about it which makes me believe like beyond everything that they've already done for accessibility that it is like uh, a point of uh like a goal of his to make sure like okay we're building towards a, a better future in terms of accessibility so that's nice sure. to see yeah awesome 
Well, can't wait for Spider Man Two. Like just just hearing about it, like is is ready. Like I'm already sold on it already. So I'm really really excited. Um, Sammy, I'm not too sure if you had to go or anything. Is his birthday canceled or? <laughs> Um, I still have a little bit of time. It, right. it, it's going later now. So, oh, okay, oh, yeah. fair enough. I just want to make give you like a window yeah. opportunity to say anything yeah. right now or anything. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's dive right into the Nintendo Direct. Very early, in, well, like early for the, everyone on the West Coast, but every, all of us in the East Coast, so that we're the be, you know better side and everything. I, that's right. I'm starting starting a whole new war. Um, so East Coast, <laughs> best coast. That's right. You know they had to wake up at seven. We got it early. Oh, yeah. right? we, we didn't sleep in. We <laughs> like, it was at ten. I was like, we're good. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. So, and it kicked off with some Splatoon uh, 3 expansion. Um, totally forgot Splatoon was getting another expansion. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it looked pretty cool, though. Like I like the whole like muted colors and everything like that. Um, I, now, this is news that I, I think did one of you guys mentioned this. Mario and Donkey Kong versus Donkey Kong. Yeah, Mario versus Donkey Kong. Uh, yeah. Was it, who, was it you, that, Riley, that mentioned that this might be coming out or you think this might be coming out? Uh, it was leaked by someone named Pioro oh, on, okay, okay, on okay. Twitter ahead of time, so that was that was implied. Um, but yeah, they re- they announced it, and it's coming out February, I believe. Yeah. Did anyone uh, did anyone check the voice on this one? Is it Charles Martinet? <laughs> I couldn't tell. I was I trying couldn't. to keep an open ear. Yeah. I think we just have to like go into like the first game that comes out, just like skip to the credits and be like, yeah. who is yeah, it? who's on this game? Although, yeah. 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 I will say the Wario game that yeah you could definitely tell that ain't the the regular Wario. That's just, just saying. That's yeah, true. That that's was true. very clear. Yeah. That's yeah. so true. Yep. Um, Prince of Persia. They showed uh, some more in step, uh, more more demonstration of this game. Hopefully, this game uh, does really well because you know it looks it's very promising, especially in the Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia um, universe, um, Super Mario RPG. So I, I love the fact they had Let's to sh- they had to show people that like if you press on the button, which a lot of people had no idea, if you time your I button know. matching <laughs> right, you do like another attack, which yep. is absolutely amazing. This game looks absolutely amazing. I'm blown I away. Like, yeah. like, like the fact like I had to remind myself like, wait, this come on a switch. I'm not saying the switch is a weak. I mean, it's not a not as powerful as you know ps5 and everything but like this all the game looks clean and everything I'm like this like I, know. I, I kept thinking it was like a cg trailer i'm like this is actually the gameplay right here this is outstanding it looks it definitely uh sounds cool actually funny that when you mentioned about the that you could be able to do a multiple attack i i just picked up uh sea of stars because you know when you're sick and you're an adult you play video games of course. Uh, <laughs> so i started playing sea of stars on my uh like and that's something that you could be able to do you could actually be able to do a multiple like a if you time it just right you can do a multi-attack or even like dodge out of the way if you do it the, the, if you do a parry just right so I'm, I'm it was interesting i was like okay seeing that in there i'm like oh okay they're actually gonna do that in, in super mario rpg i was like that's that's interesting also another cool thing that i i don't uh, uh they didn't sh- they didn't show in this but there was a video uh that was posted you can actually be able to switch to the original soundtrack oh okay they remastered the soundtrack yeah. but you can't be able to go in the options you can switch back to the original soundtrack i had no idea i had I no idea that. about that that's all, that's awesome that's really it makes good. me think i'm like well can we even switch back to the original graphics too? The graphics right yeah, yeah. i was That'd wondering that amazing too. <laughs> well my because my hope out of this was like i thought we would get more to be honest about mm. what was going on because they didn't even clarify that in the direct which is surprising to me they clarified it after the fact uh like the music switching but i was kind of uh, hoping like maybe an amiibo maybe some additional like some of the additional content they have as you can go back and refight the bosses so unless there's like but the, unless there's more to the game like i don't think we're getting like a super mario rpg direct like we did for wonder like it seems uh, pretty pretty straightforward yeah. for them it might so be I like think, a twitter release video or something at, at, yeah, i'm at sure i'm something. sure right yeah. yeah like a launch trailer and stuff like that like they'll keep it pretty pretty simple but it does it seems like it's very true to the original which i wonder if that's a matter of like rights uh because they're shared with square enix or we also still don't know who's developing it which is interesting to me yeah but so, i don't know I, I'm I'm more w- more gino i'm for anyway, i was, yeah, I was about to yeah, mention absolutely. like if there's any if there's if, if there is gonna be an amiibo it's gonna be gino it has to be. It, it has, has to, to be. be. Yeah. There's, there's no need for a shorter Mario, like a Chibi no. Mario. I guess you could do Gino and Mallow and like a two pack. I'd buy both cool, of them. Yeah, <laughs> that would be my cool, but... heartbeat. <laughs> Be pretty cool i wish they did but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen unless he gets into smash brothers at some point so 
pay. Well, hey, we, that's that's gonna be know. that's gonna be uh, January's direct. So, don't worry about a it. Ja- a January direct? You uh, think? Oh well, yeah, a January direct's coming out for sure. A January direct. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. we, uh, January first. Oh, ja- 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 yeah. Exactly. They will never see it. Just sneak it in. Yeah. I would say. I'd say probably February, March. We'll probably see another. I one. agree. I agree. What? They're trying to pave the road to February, March. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling it right now. Mark no, no, no. time stamped it. No, no, no. Okay. Here's <laughs> the thing. February, February, March, Nintendo Direct. With yep. announcement of a of a Switch, Switch 2, two. so that coming out in the in, in the fall or holidays, so that that gives plenty of people enough time to be able to get and save up their and save up their pennies to be able to buy right. another Switch. I agree. When, when was what, what we don't uh, we still don't, they didn't give us release dates for several of the games, so mm-hmm. including yeah. Luigi okay, Mansion, Mansion was, was like, very oh. surprising. Like just twenty yeah. twenty. Oh no! I was, I was, I was, sorry, it was Paper Mario. Sorry, Paper Mario was the one that was this twenty twenty four. It was a black screen yeah. twenty twenty four. That's, that's all you get. Yeah, Luigi's that, Mansion is just big games summer too. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Luigi's Mansion is just summer. Yeah, uh, which I was at, that's another one I was actually surprised about with the release date. I thought it will be coming out sooner or something. And or, then the speech is March. Yeah. Is it? Uh, does it just like shock anyone that we're in the year twenty twenty three and? Nintendo is just naming things HD as if it's supposed to impress us. Like, are we not at the point where there's like it should be like 4K? Is such like an HD like sticker too? Did you see it? Yeah, right next to it. 4K because it's in the Switch can't output it. It can't. It can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, come on, we gotta get over this. uh, this It's really not. It's really not like a remake or a remaster, though. So, like, I get that they're kind of like it because the graphics are like very upscale 3ds looking so i'm like okay i see why it's it's like a malibu stacy situation like oh she comes with a new hat now you know (laughs) like like it's the same thing no it's a new hat (laughs) it's different it's different trust me um talk about princess peach i did not like i had no idea what this game was gonna be like many like many of you and honestly i'm still in this game like where we're like where were they showed today i was like i want to know more and i wanted and i wanted like Princess Peach, I don't like. What did you guys think of the Princess Peach uh, Showtime? Uh, you could be Kung Fu Peach. You could be like what Chef Peach Patisserie. or was it Patisserie, Patisserie Peach? Peach. Sword yeah, Ma- Swordmaster Sword Peach. Peach. Like, I want to do. Yeah. I want to be a Swordmaster yeah. Peach. That's, that's it. <laughs> and it, def- it seemed su- like super cool, super promising. I also had no idea what to expect. And then once they displayed it, I'm just like, okay, I'm I'm, I'm freaking here for it. I'm excited to buy that game. And it seemed Guaranteed like there's going to be a, a, a thing on social media being like, which peach are you? Oh, oh absolutely. 100%. Oh, that's yeah. such a good call. That's yeah. such a good call, Steve. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Totally. Good idea for your Riley for Walmart. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure Nintendo's going to beat me to the punch on that, to be honest. Like, I'm sure that seems like a core <laughs> marketing trait there. That's good. It seemed like this game was also like, a, like it kind of gave me Paper Mario, um, the Paper Mario Thousand Years vibes because it seemed like it was like kind of on stage as well. Like it seemed like the she was like on yeah. one plane form and then the background can you know, switch behind her. So I don't like I don't know if that's kind of related to this Paper Mario game or they're just like, hey, we need to make this game look good. This is the best way we can do it. Like just I feel like on one plane, but the background switches on you because the game looked really crisp as well. Like a lot of these games were popping out, especially Paper Mario and everything. There's some key things I'm like, like I don't know that the Switch could do that, but like. And then um, so some so, that's could. what I was thinking. Like maybe these are transitional hmm. games, you know? Like yeah, well, I think, maybe the, uh, they're well, very I, clearly transitional. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, know, I, I I do think that to your point of like the background uh, kind of points to like this game being very small in scope in a way where it's like oh we're not having to deal with all these different environments and stuff like that. It's very self-contained in a way where it is. Okay, we're swapping out the background. We're swapping out character assets for for Peach herself, enemies and stuff like that. So, yeah. I I don't know. Maybe maybe all the budget went into let's make this as crisp as possible while keeping it very kind of self contained, just to make sure it can run on the Switch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it is. A, I think they showed it in, on Switch hardware, and yeah. it will be on. It's definitely going to be on Switch. My, I'm more curious, like why they had Paper Mario and Super Mario RPG, and they're promoting both at the same time. That's a weird one, right? Mm. I don't know. I I hope that they're not using it as like a measuring stick to tally like, oh, okay, which one are we moving forward with? Like, because I want both to Just be give honest. Give us both. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't I you want like, money? Both. Give us both. <laughs> Do you see a future for Super Mario RPG? It, well, I mean, I think they brought it back for a reason beyond just like 
bringing it back. Like they're definitely testing the waters for something. Yeah, I I don't know. Well, yeah, that that's a great point. What the first announcement kind of came out, I, it was very much like, okay, you guys can shut up now. We brought you, you know, to the <laughs> yeah, modern yeah, age, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, you bring up a good point. I I do wonder like why both hey, of them are. Wonder. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, sorry. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I love that, that that pregnant pause there. Uh, no, it <laughs> it does make me wonder, like, why they would do, you know, the core RPG one and then bring up Paper Mario when you could have easily waited. It almost you, feels you like. greenlit both probably yeah. around the same time. So, sure. I mean, that's happening. And then on top of that, it's like, let's say Super Mario RPG comes out and it won't. But what, it's, what if it sells 10 million copies right off the yeah. hop? Do you not? Yeah. Do you just don't touch it again after that? Like, it's definitely there's always like room for these IPs to grow. So I think Absolutely. these opportunities, like bringing it back is the opportunity that gamers now have. It's like, if you want it, show us. Because if you're not yeah. going to show up, we're not doing it again. Oh, and I swear to God, if you guys don't show up for Super Mario RPG, oh. I'm <laughs> going to be furious at each and every one of you i'll probably no. give it a here's year a, here's maybe. The thing, though. Oh. Don't, <laughs> come on here's here's the thing though don't why, steve why, don't hurt me why charge 80 bucks because it's, it's an 80 dollar yeah. quality game it is a game steve, of a generation worth it, worth it steve. is that cat or usd then why are they either one so about the last of us remake i'm because people are upset about everything, damn it. People like to get upset about don't, everything. Don't turn the mob on Super Mario RPG. Do yeah. not do this to me. Please. Gino hasn't done shit to you. Yeah, Gino, <laughs> Gino is a saint. Right, right. And Ellie's... Well, okay, apparently she's not. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. People get freaking pissed off about the, the smallest things. People are mad at it. Like, like, yeah. You're right. They put a lot of effort into it. It is all intents and purposes. It's a brand new game. I'm all for the 80 bucks. Let's go. It's 80 dollars because we're Canadian. That's why. So. Yeah, I was going to say, no, if, yeah. it's, if it's 80 <laughs> USD, stage, that's whatever. too much. Yeah. 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 It, oh, my God. Then there'll, there'll be a real ride. It'll be 120. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I, mean, I hope there's like a collector's edition for this game. Like, there has to be. Again, like, they, like they, when I, are they announcing it? You have to bring out something like. Oh, like when are they announcing? I don't it? want like, no yeah, keychain, no poster. I want like full on statue. You want a keychain, and if I you want, want a keychain, you can pre-order right now at Walmart. Walmart. Five, Walmart. Five, five, secure one. Five, yeah, five inches yeah. of Mario like RPG or something. Ex <laughs> GameStop exclusive or something like that. I would imagine. Like a like a limited edition. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I would say, like yeah, like a keychain, or like, as you said, or I don't we know. we've got a keychain at Walmart, Steve. You, you pre-order well, the okay. game, Ooh. yeah, and it's right. got the well, whole cast of Super Mario RPG at Walmart. The, the, oh, the, the unofficial sponsor of a gaming podcast. There you go, amazing. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. Now, now, Riley, if I if I want to have the digital edition of this game, can you just get me a keychain? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, probably not. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I figured. But if you did yeah. pre-order from Walmart the physical copy, you will certainly get a keychain, probably, if you're within the first 2,000 to do so. I'm definitely oh, going to be buying the physical copy because Nintendo hates disabled people. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they did, like, I, I've said this time and time and again. Here's the thing. I don't know if you, like, I don't know if you guys know this. You can, no. never, you can never get a refund for a digital purchase on Nintendo. Oh, they no, legitimately I in their it's policy true. they say oh. that you should have looked at reviews and screenshots before you purchase they will not of course review, they, do. they will not <laughs> renew like re refund for an accidental purchase or anything like that if you purchased it it's yours so that's i think physical copies. they did uh they did uh go back on that for pokemon right yeah they did that for, pokemon. Yeah, for that. Yeah. yeah 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 and there's been like a few yeah, uh, like exceptions as well. Like I've been able to get a refund as well. I was, I was like, oh, I got, I didn't know I was gonna get a key for it, and then like I got a whole refund of the game, and then just got the key mm. from the review. So PlayStation's done similar things too. I think they all kind of do it too. Well, yeah. So so I because I looked into this. Nintendo's the only one that has never changed it. 
Um, PlayStation, you can, but they've kind of put everything into like a AI chatbot sort of deal. So uh, trying to be able to get a hold of anybody is very difficult. Xbox is the only one that if you basically just put in in the reason as to why you want a refund, saying yep. like for me, for me, it's like okay, it's for accessibility or just whatever reason, you can get the refund within like five minutes. Yep. Like it's it, yeah. the yep. Xbox. I, I just did that lenient. usually. Ste like, Steam is a lot more lenient with digital refunds. Oh, yeah. um, but Nintendo yeah, Steam gives you two hours. Worst. So you can get, yeah. play a game for two hours and you're like, I don't like this game. Even if you finish the game in two hours, you're like, I don't want this game. They're like, all right, here's your money back. Well, yeah. I think yeah. Xbox has that same window. It just opens up like a whole bunch of like uh, reasons on top of that as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's not, yeah. It's on a case by case basis usually. Yeah. Totally. I had no idea about the Nintendo thing though. That's interesting. Yeah. And yeah, very unfortunate if, you know, you have any kind of, you know, disability or something and you mm -hmm. want to try a game. And ability tax. That's what it is. Yeah, and yeah. you're just not able to to play it, and you can't even do anything about that. That's I don't like that. Calling you out, Nintendo. Do better. Well, yeah. um, I've been calling them out for this... for years. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, ignore, they ignore me. They ignore me by this point. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> um, I was about to say, if you want this game to succeed, you had to buy it twice anyway, digital and physical. So you know, if you want your sequel, you might have to do your part. But. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll be shouting from the rooftops. I'm going to be making everyone buy a copy. <laughs> yeah. I just hope there's like a statue or something. It heavily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and me or Walmart? Oh, you and me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then probably also Walmart. But yes, we'll be promoting it heavily. Um, what else was announced? Uh, Tomb Raider remake. I didn't know they were remaking this, and I love this. I love the fact they just like made the polygon like triangle shapes, and they just made it to you know non triangle shapes now. So, but the same stiff arm movements and everything. But it's really cool that they're coming out with the remake of of these. And it's coming out on everything. It's not only Nintendo as well, yep. the Xbox and PlayStation and PC as well. So, yep. Uh, it's interesting though. It's it's being developed by uh, by Asper, who was yeah. going to be making all the the the, the Star Wars Coder uh, remakes. Oh, that's right. Wait, wait, yeah. Were they going to do the actual oh, yeah. remake for PlayStation? Like the full on, like yeah, right. The yeah. Spire, yeah. Or is it Asper? Were they the original? Asper. Were they <laughs> the, the original team attached to that, or yeah. did it switch developers? I thought oh, it just got they all right. Cancel. Right switch developers. You're right. I think they did. Oh, it did. I thought it got canceled. Yeah. To be honest, <laughs> oh yeah. Still, but they were, they basically have been working on ports and remasters. That's that's yeah. that's really what what they've been kind of doing. What they're known for. So they did the Force Unleashed for Nintendo Switch, all that kind of stuff, and yeah. and they made Myth Force. Uh, I just realized that now. Hmm. That is right. Oh, right. and that just came that's out cool. actually. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there we go. Asper got some pedigree. There you mm -hmm. go. Um and then F zero ninety nine battle royale like this yes it's yeah. so good it's so it's good it's really good it's really it's good. good it's Did really good I, I've seen some people play it. I'm like damn I need to try this myself and I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna save it for my stream and everything but I saw some people play it and like it's it's pretty it's pretty cool <laughs> yeah I gotta it's, jump in it's awesome it's so much fun it's part of NSO so if you have NSO you yeah. can just download it from the eShop and jump right in. it is. So so like I was like white knuckling my controller, <laughs> oh, I, like God. it gets intense. Yeah, I'm gonna boot it up wow. tonight. Absolutely, yeah. can't yeah, wait. Give it a go. Yeah, I think it's like it's 99 of you, and then like after each like Grand Prix, like it kind of like eliminates like the like Lots, 20, yeah, like, like 20 the bottom people, 10, 15, yeah. yeah, yeah, love that. And then you like gain guys oh, in a way, a little bit, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then you gain extra XP if you like, even like you get like four rivals in like the whole race. If you beat them, then like you get like additional XP as well. So yep. it's Ooh. yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's it's pretty neat. And like I know a lot of people wanted a new F Zero or like the GameCube, and like <laughs> Nintendo's like, mm, here's this, like pr prove it to us. See if you really want it, you know, like. I will admit, I didn't expect it to be a 99. Uh, oh. Yeah. Like Battle Royale. I was expecting like, yeah, maybe a remake or like, yeah. you know, like a remaster or whatever. But yeah. this kind of. There's still time. Me. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's like I, once it, because there was, the, so before the presentation, it got out that 99 was likely the form it was arriving in. Uh, So I was like, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like. But to see it and play it, I'm like, this was absolutely worth it. Like, this is yeah. so much fun. Like, I don't, I don't know who cooked that up, but they were cooking that day. I do not <laughs> mind saying because it they is so much rage. fun. Yeah, it is a blast. 
Damn, I can't. I have to. I can't wait to try it after, right after this. Right after this podcast here, for sure. Um, what I, there was also the museum that was announced. So I guess we got to take a trip. As well, yeah. was like, here's a museum, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. In March. I, was like, I was expecting yep. some of my friends are they're going to be like, well, they just bought tickets to go to uh, Japan in March. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things happening in March. That's oh, what I'm saying. I wonder what that could mean for us. Best presentation, new museum, new system, maybe. They're like, mm. oh, what's this room for? Come right in for this presentation. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, so. uh, right? Yeah, <laughs> like if they launched the museum with a console, like. That would like be a the, very like Nintendo I, thing. That's a very Nintendo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a grand totally opening. They invite media the out. Commercial it- where they're like, where they're like, sort of right, like rising up from the roof with it, and then you can see like the like it's the same thing. Like, but instead of you're going down towards the roof, and you get a little closer, and closer, and you can see like it's the new Switch too. That's because yeah. no. yeah. it same. is like it is like a massive question mark block on the roof, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. The marketing's oh, like it's perfect. It's so good. Like you launch it, you fly some media out, you preview this thing. It would yep. blow the question mark right off the roof. Like it would and, be unreal. And they even said like, oh, this is where we display like old hardware and stuff like that. You can almost imagine you walk into like one of the the halls there. It's like NES, and then every single kind of like booth or whatever just like leads through the generations of the, their consoles and then right Ooh, after the event or whatever that. there's the switch to on display in yeah. the, the museum a part of me was even thinking that the question block was like a qr code or something <laughs> i was like, wait, like with your phone wait, like wait a minute <laughs> you're, you're, it, invi- you're, you're invited <laughs> you're invited you figured it out like oh i find you know but yeah that's pretty like a golden ticket situation yeah exactly exactly mm-hmm. now do you think they're gonna um Display the virtual boy if they are going to be displaying stuff. They have there? to, right? Yeah. It's, it's everything. Yeah. 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 You can't yeah. just like, it's, otherwise, it's it never like, happened. I don't know. No, I was talking about what? Now, last <laughs> this Donkey Kong drums? Yes. Yes. You, it has to right? be there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Man. Yeah. That's, I wish that game would come back, to be honest Damn. with you. I'm vibing a Donkey Konga. I would yes. be very stoked for that. Mm hmm. You ever play, you play like the original Pokemon theme song and stuff? Yeah, you're just jamming yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. But you don't want you trombone. The small things you on don't there want too. trombone champ? Well, that no. looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and it's four player. We can four all play player it. game and right I there. <laughs> I was like, who greenlit this? It's gonna sell. It's gonna do real well. Oh, it's so I chaotic. It's, so oh, yeah. it's gonna be it's a Nintendo today. pack. It's gonna be it's a Nintendo out right pack. Now. Yeah. I'm waiting for Nintendo pack music, like music pack to come out. You know, they're going to be really like, I was really hoping yeah. they'd have like Legend of Zelda and just hearing them oh, too long. <laughs> that would have been so funny. No. The song of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh I my God. They, it. they, they have to do, do it. it. They should definitely do it. That would, that would be an op- awesome op- opportunity right there. Speaking about uh, the, you know, the Kong family, Diddy Kong and um, who's the other one Funky. who came up? Funky, Funky Kong, Kong. Funky, came yeah, out for yeah. Deluxe. That's it. There's no more Paulines in the game as well. They just literally just brought everyone back. Like here's this is the so, ultimate. This is the ultimate of Mario Kart. And I saw, I've I have I have something to add to that. Okay. Yeah. I think people are thinking there might be four more. Hmm. Four more because they didn't announce real. No, 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 no. Just characters. characters. Oh. Because. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Because the, the initial framing of that was that there was only two spots left, and now they've added four, which is going to change the whole layout of the roster. And I'm sure right. I didn't yeah, do the yeah. math, but uh, the way it's structured currently is they said it comes out holiday this holiday. So they're going to have what they usually do then is another presentation reveal all the tracks. So if they drop four more characters, they'll balance out the entire roster. Hmm. I, mean, I well, bet they probably that is do like speculation. a little, okay. little commer- probably a little commercial they would put up on social media in yep. November. That's before, exactly what they do. Uh, yep. the, before Black Friday. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. But can we just go back to to Pauline being there? It's 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 weird seeing like a human <laughs> interact with these characters. Like it's yeah. just there's something unnerving about it. I I didn't like it. It wasn't weird like, enough that they have Mercedes Benz in the game as well. <laughs> That was that's also very strange. Yeah, I don't like when 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 Mario interacts with the human world. It was yeah. just the same thing with like the 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 movie. Anytime that it was like we're not in the Mushroom Kingdom, we're interacting in the real world. There's something just very very bizarre about it. I, I it 
it gets me in my jellies. There's something about it. It's, I don't know. There's, there's something. I mean, like, uh, I mean, they have Rosalina and Peach and Daisy, and they all wear their like jumpsuits. So I don't think it's like drastically different. There is. Look at the look, look at her face in that. There is. Yeah. There I assure is. you. In her sparkly dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder if she'll have her own little jumpsuit for the motorcycle though. I feel like she probably will. I was going to ask, are they just going to port this over to the new Switch? Or is this like brand new Switch? Uh, if, it's, if, if it's reported that it will be backwards compatible, I don't they think have it really to. matters. Yeah. I, wonder, I wonder, though, with these games, especially with Smash Brothers and Mario Kart in particular, uh, if there are licensing issues. And what I mean by that is I don't know how long the duration of something like uh, the Mercedes-Benz deal in Mario Kart, or, uh, you know, they have Sonic and Pac-Man and Mega Man elements with the Amiibo tied to it as well. I don't yeah. know what the duration of that deal yeah. is. Um, I don't know what the duration of the Smash Brothers deals are. So, I mean, like, they could concede... Like, I, I don't think it would be much effort on the Mario Kart part to carry that forward, but Smash Brothers would be a different story, and if you're going to do that, do you just do you relaunch it? and pay the licensing fees and do that again. Like, I don't know. And if you have to do that for Mario Kart, I think you, you have I to do it for Smash Bros. Mario Kart. Oh yeah. Oh no, that my, as well. Yeah. Yeah. My guess, I mean, potentially like the, uh, if the, if a switch Two is definitely coming out next year, I could see them basically doing Mario Kart nine as a launch title. And, I don't uh, disagree. Yeah. I think yeah. you're right. Like basically like, and then uh, like, it will just still be backwards compatible with eight. So no matter which version you have, like they can still sell both at the same time and yeah, you're good to go. What's yeah. I mean, what you want. If you're looking to move ball. units, you want that game there. Yeah. yeah that'll, sure. that'll move units, and especially like something like that. Like you want those evergreen titles hitting as close to the launch window as you can, because they're going to sell for the entire lifespan of that console. So the sooner yeah, they're Mario out, the, Kart 8 the has, longer sure. road is. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that you've done that, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm being judged right now. <laughs> it's, uh, I hear you. I'm I sorry. hear you now. I hear you now. Yeah. Pauline's iconic. Like you have to have her in there. She's just like the OG. She's the OG like, princess. Yeah. You know, yeah, She's you know. No, yeah. but she doesn't have to look this way. Like you could Mario <laughs> fire. Or are they just like ripping these assets off of Tor? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's all coming from your your iPhone and everything like that. And um, yeah. uh, I just I wanted to briefly <laughs> my iPhone in particular. Your specific <laughs> iPhone, yeah. exactly. I actually wanted to bring up the the Apple event very quickly because uh, they, they they were thanks thanks to yeah. Steve Taylor for bringing this, my attention to this. I totally missed this. I was like, I'm leaving. There's just the same like <laughs> fastest i i fastest Apple. Yeah. It's always the fastest one because it has to. It's the newest one. Obviously, the fact that yeah. almost that drives me nuts. But like, um, they came up. They brought news of, um, Resident Evil Four coming out and Village coming out and the new Assassin's Creed Mirage and like it's all running native, not even cloud whatsoever. And it's all and they're they're showing off their own version of ray tracing as well, which is pretty yeah, outstanding on the phone and everything. And yeah, go ahead. It's Steve. part of the uh, the new A17 chip that they were. That was why they were kind of like the the thing that they were promoting was the fact that the new chip basically has a version of ray tracing on it. And these games, and also there was one other game, Death Stranding is actually. Oh, Death be Stranding, to yes. Uh, yes, yes, which is I'm glad it's a PlayStation IP. Here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which, ex- <laughs> well, they've they've had like I mean they've had that's a weird licensing connection. one, publishing yeah. one, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but and the, the, what what they're actually saying as well is that they're all those games. Uh, Mirage is the furthest one out that'll be coming in apparently spring of 2024 but um, all the Resident Evils and Death Stranding supposedly are going to be coming out by the end of this year um, once the iPhone 15 comes out Uh, but what's interesting too is that they're saying that they are like the full console versions like they are not like like smaller ports or or streaming or whatever they Mm. are the actual console versions but I think I remember reading something that they might be locked at like 30 FPS which I'm like yeah okay fine you're okay. when you're yeah. playing on a phone you got to have some compromise yeah but, um <laughs> it'd be very interesting to see a how much drain of the battery life is that going to be uh yep. and also what are the touch controls going to be like uh for that as well so so i to try out so i saw a screenshot of the interface like the touch interface and it's unfortunately very cumbersome as you can imagine with a triple a game like resident evil yeah um 
it's I'd definitely one of those would be like hey by the backbone and that like, uh, exactly that'll probably that, be the thing that they'll use that's exactly what i was going to say like if anyone like again i don't know the market for for these games but if you're investing triple a dollars into getting a game like this on your iphone you're probably going to want to buy like a, a, a controller to go with it right like a like a kishi a backbone any of those like I, I just don't understand why you'd go through death stranding especially that game is a very uh controller intensive game uh yeah i don't know why you'd want to play that whole experience on a on a touch device yeah yeah thank you marcel that yeah. is <laughs> that's that is a wild. mess <laughs> yeah I Essentially, mean, you're honestly, taking up like where's two Leon? Thirds of the screen. <laughs> it's not that much different than the, than the interface on the PS app remote play uh, for the iPhone. No, it's no, not at all. It like yeah. oh, it, it, it's got that kind of like it, like it, it's it covers pretty much a lot of that screen. Yeah. So, so if you have like a backbone or something, you're fine then. Oh, for, totally. absolutely, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. You're totally totally good, but yeah, it was just one of those things where I saw the the UI for this, I was like, oof. There's just no way around it. There's no way to simplify touch <laughs> touch controls on a uh, a mobile device. It's, it's really outrageous when you look at it this way. Yeah, and it is also to say like just to clarify, it is exclusive to the iPhone 15s only. Like there's hmm. no backwards compatibility for it. So it's because that they're all getting the new A17 chip. I guess none of the other iPhones can be able to handle it. Pro uh, models exclusive yeah, yeah for the, the 50 models. not not the base models yeah I was gonna as far as i know oh, like, okay yeah. actually i didn't, I didn't yeah because it's, okay, so it's, it's only the pro only? and the the pro max that have the uh a17 pro chip uh as far as i know so my my question it seems apple's very keen to get into gaming uh and it seems like they're going after some big publishers and partners to do so when do they come out with their own official apple controller or something for it, the mobile device it's been in development. Yeah. yeah. I've okay. heard, I've heard long been in development. It, especially with the Vision Pro uh, being a, like that. I mean, I know that they've been kind of like promoting like you can be able to use your, your hands to be able to control it. You don't need to have an additional controller. But I have yeah. heard similar things to that. I would be willing to bet probably not only just because they have they have had extensive uh, support for other controllers like you can connect yeah. the xbox controller the do like the, the the elite controllers too including the dual sense and the dual sense edge like all the, the the major controllers that you can be able to connect to an iphone mm -hmm. or any like the base as long as it's got bluetooth you can be able to connect to it and it'll work on a mac even including apple tv like they've kind of really made it so that like you could be if you get an apple tv and you have apple arcade you can be able to connect any controller to it and it'll work just fine Oh, and absolutely! A huge thing. Yep. They changed the iPhone charger to a USB-C, so that opens yep. up so yes. yeah. much yep. 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 more. That's a huge change, especially. It's a really Apple. good point. Yeah. But yeah. keep in mind, this is still Apple, and the moment that they look at their own controller and they're like, "This is consumer ready," they're going to launch that and say, "We want everyone to use this thing." Oh, absolutely! It's Apple yeah. at the end of the I day. Mean, they want to yeah, keep it in their like own ecosystem. Sort of, yeah. Not, yeah. Not to say they'll drop support for the dual sensor or anything, but if given the opportunity, they would want their own branded Apple controller, especially like you're saying, Riley. Like they are investing in in gaming. I mean, mm -hmm. Apple Arcade is a great service that I think is very underappreciated in the industry. I think so many great games are on that catalog. But yeah, yeah partnering with with kojima especially and then now capcom ubisoft the list is going to continue to grow and i just, uh, I, just I, wonder what interesting. Their, I wonder what their their ultimate goal is though like is it to just work with partners or do you want to have your own studios developing content because right now it's I easy had, to buy the content i had heard rumors that there was going to be like games are going to be exclusively designed for for the mac because because here's the thing like the new yeah. m chips for for their uh, for their apple products that like they which i kind of was surprised they didn't actually put into the iphone 15s but i guess it's their version of it. the m the m chips are really powerful graphics wise oh, yeah. and they the, like if you've ever if you like i have an m1 macbook pro and it is by far and away probably one of the best like the fastest smoothest running computers i have ever had in my entire life that's not me just buying into the apple ecosystem even though i have been for the past like 
15 years like legitimately i've i run a pc on as my daily driver but that macbook mm -hmm. pro can sing and sing well uh and so i can definitely and i don't know what it is too i was gonna make a joke that basically there's two things that, that i i know that with apple guaranteed there's an executive somewhere that thinks resident evil village is the greatest game of all time because every <laughs> time they talk about gaming there's always some sort of resident evil village yeah. the showcase or whatever yeah, yeah. Uh, in there and then also as well the, the fact that ubisoft they just like putting their games on anything even stuff that fails so yeah. uh we'll, we'll we'll see how that runs but i don't know I'm, I'm curious i like i probably won't get an iphone 15 i really want to but I mean, I like I, I always upgrade every two years, and I got the iPhone 14 uh, Pro, too. and I'm like, yeah. I, there's not that much of an upgrade for me to be able to do it, so I'll have to wait till next year. But oh well, I'll, I'll try it out when it comes out, when like whatever, or unless hey, Apple, uh, hey, sit, give, give me a shout, we'll do, do a review. Yeah, hook Steve up. Hook yeah. Steve up for sure. You know. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly touch on the. A uh, question about like it, w whether Apple would invest in like their own game development. And so far, like historically, from what I've seen, I think that they're way more willing to to throw around money to get Apple exclusives because that's essentially what a lot of the Apple Arcade platform is right now. Is them just saying, okay, we'll partner with X, Y, or Z developer, get their stuff exclusively on Apple Arcade, just to kind of bolster that catalog. It's mm. two hundred yeah. plus yeah. games right now. So I think if they can kind of have the synergy between we have AAA games available on the marketplace as well as continue to invest in ad-free gaming as well, I think yeah. that's their version of building out their own library versus let's make a studio. Like they, they've already seen what Google has done, Amazon has done. I know mm -hmm. Apple has way more money and way more uh, developer retention there, but I think it's still a very inherent risk, especially so early on um unless yeah. it becomes a, a a point of contention of hey we need more stuff on vision pro let's do vr yeah versus okay. like triple a think, third yeah. person gaming yeah i think i think what we're gonna see in the near future are probably acquisitions from companies that people aren't thinking about like square yeah. enix could be acquired by amazon it could be acquired by apple it could be acquired by yeah. facebook meta like all these all these companies are going to be looking to because i mean like look where the platform's going and where people are trying to build they're trying to build on mobile and who runs that sure True. it's yeah. like so apple knows that if they can have their own storefront in that field too in that sector and their own exclusives feeding people into that ecosystem like they're going to consider finding ways to kind of build into that so i'm very curious if if Square Enix makes a move like that and how that impacts future availability and stuff like that, I, th I think it's going to be very interesting. But they're there that just like looking at this conference and seeing their interests so far in the gaming industry through Capcom and and Hideo Kojima and Ubisoft, like I, I think that they're building towards something meaningful. So I just find I, it interesting. I'd be, yeah, I'd, I would definitely be interested to see if Apple is going to be like on a, on another, like a game studio acquisition. Like who knows? They could, you know, they have like, they have trillion, they have like over a trillion dollars plus in just in reserves. They can buy, and they can buy like anything and they would basically like, buy it would Disney. Be like just pocket yeah. change. They yeah, can yeah, buy they Disney. Can, they can buy yeah. Disney. So I could see them like potentially, yeah, Disney could be a good one. They've been investing in Disney for a long time, going back when Steve Jobs was still uh, was was brought back as CEO. Um, so, and like I could definitely see that. Also, Square Enix. I mean, that's an, that's definitely a possibility. I could definitely see them investing heavily in VR games with the when the Vision Pro. I think they, they probably were to. maybe holding yeah. a little bit to like uh, information closer to test. I probably think that that is something that they were they had to have considered when they were making it instead of just an AR type computer. There has to be something that would be very much vr i think they were just basically trying to figure out a way to do it with also keeping the battery life low because with the vision pro you have to have that battery basically hanging off of the if, hanging off the little thing off the side in order for it to be able to even be useful and it's about like two hours long is the like it is about that battery that you have like currently being announced so i i think that that's something that'll be on the on the way and you i think you guys are right like I have, apple would totally if they really want to push it they can totally heavily invest in in a lot of uh, a lot of gaming uh to come it's wild it's wild it's, it's kind of crazy like i know this is like their second phase into the whole gaming because they had like street fighter they had like other resident evils games in there before as well back in the mm -hmm. day and everything and i was just kind of see like a whole resurgence they're like oh we'll wait type of situation now like 
now you're playing like the games na- like natively like flush on your phone which is kind of wild but i wanted to also mention what was it like what does this mean for the upcoming switch then with, like like, with, like, like acquisitions pro- with, well not acquisition more of like like processes processing power if, if apple can do this with their with their oh. latest chip and the chip is like i, was, like, so I know it's their own custom chip and everything what is like how are games going to be looking for the, for the upcoming switch too you, like you think like what's, like what are your speculations on it there's a lot of reports uh i think good i think i think pretty good <laughs> i think up i would say up 4k yeah. would be my expectation yeah yeah because I, because the thing that Apple always had the benefit of, whenever when it comes to their hardware, is that they also make the software. Like they make yep. everything in that pipeline, so they can take as as much out of each part as possible. Uh, yep. And they have like kind of moved off of using other parts from other companies uh, to make everything in house. So everything that they do always works together. Nintendo. Um, if, forgive, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that the chip that they use is their own proprietary chip, correct? It's not, no. no. Right, yeah. So unless they can be able to make their own, I don't foresee them basically, like, because here's the thing with, with Nintendo is that they want to make sure that it, a lot of people speculating that it's going to be like DLSS and ray tracing and it's going to be able to like run all these things. I'm like, no, it's, it's not, that's not going to happen because Nintendo is very much like they want to make sure they can have that battery power that anybody, that any kid can be able to pick up and play. Because if you try to be able to get all that into one handheld device, it's going to be heavy. It's going to be less battery yep. and it's not going to be useful for any, uh, any of the games that basically that are that not only backwards compatible, but also games that are going to be coming out for, especially for kids and you gotta know this is, this is also a console for kids and if they yeah. if they will never compromise on 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 <laughs> that so i don't think we'll have a like i think riley you're right it's like up 4k i can totally see them doing that uh, but that's probably the limit of what they could be able to do yep the other thing to consider is how much money nintendo has to invest in True. hardware as well i mean there was just the report uh i think the other week before the apple event where uh apple was investing in three nanometer uh chips and was working with the manufacturer in, in taiwan and they essentially just went and bought their entire supply for the rest of the year just for iphone nintendo <laughs> could never approach like any company be like hey make our chip and then we'll buy it away from every other competitor that yeah. ever yeah. ever purchased is from you like that's how much money apple has and is not yeah. afraid to use oh no absolutely like the the sorry uh, sammy i was about to say like the the amount of iphones out there or even same thing for android as well it's nothing compared to like for sony or xbox or nintendo like it's like it's a laugh they're like oh you sold 20 million that's good like how about 100 million like let's try that for a size or something and like in this <laughs> quarter you know which is absolutely it's it's crazy how much iphones or mobile mobile phones out there i shall say it's kind of crazy uh what were you gonna say sammy i was just gonna kind of compare it it's like the switch would be like a honda and <laughs> the an iphone would be like a lamborghini like yeah. both very successful but just like two different worlds even though they're both kind of the same thing both in both in city traffic though so you know just saying this is true <laughs> both stuck on the 400 yes so, yeah exactly exactly um very quickly i just want to bring up the whole unity 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 uh, dilemma which the, i don't know what the hell they're doing they're shooting themselves <laughs> in the foot and they're pissing off people it's kind of crazy to think that especially in many games that are on either game pass or on playstation um uh, subscription services that i could just download this game and that that will charge that developer like I can't remember how much it will charge. It's it, but twenty like, cents. Twi- twenty, 20 cents, cents, but like, out, yeah. but like, if I'm like, oh, uh, I need more room. I'll, I'll let me. I'll download it again. I'll play it next time, and I download it again, and then again, and again. Or if it's a demo, and like, it just adds up. <laughs> like, you could end up owing. Um, many of these games that end up on Game Pass or like, on, or on PlayStation subscription services, or like, in, in basically anywhere, could just actually cost the developer a lot more money, and it's just just pushing away Unity um away like like people using unity then like they're not even in the in the position to do that it's not that they're like unreal which like you hear everything's unreal this unreal that and then like unity is like like an afterthought like what like i don't know what they're doing so <laughs> Here, here's the thing unity is actually very like very in it was from up until this week very indie friendly like they there are a lot of like game jams and a lot of like very small kind of like indie studios or just even one person like a developer that are creating games uh using unity and 
this whole thing like uh, uh, there's two things that basically major big issues that uh, obviously other than the, the cost themselves but this will basically if you want to really ruin a developer and you really do not want to like do not like the game you can totally go on an uninstall install spree and basically like instead of review bombing it's it's that it's it's com like uh, co like downloading i don't know whatever download bombing and you can basically <laughs> keep charging the developer all this money every single time that, that you do that if you really really want to be able to sh sink a studio but then also as well is that unity came out and said that like is in the case of like uh, of um agro uh, the, uh was it agro crab um anyway, that studio basically they're ma making a gr gr kind of like a, a crab like uh, souls like kind of game that's coming out on game pass next year they they had like this big they were the first of the big statement to basically say like yeah we don't like using unity at all and we're also on game pass and unity basically came out and said well that that cost isn't going to go to the studio that's going to go to microsoft and i can guarantee that microsoft <laughs> was like uh what excuse me um because that is is going to cost them a lot I, I guarantee if they're gonna yeah. if if microsoft is dragged into this unity is done they will be like if you think they like microsoft had had like had put in so much effort for the activision acquisition legally what you think like they are gonna eat unity's lunch for the next 50 years that is what they're gonna do yeah no it's absolutely it's i don't know it, i don't know what they're planning or why they even why are they even doing I, this? Like, uh, I go ahead. Just they're going to backtrack. <laughs> they're yeah, definitely, well, they, they got to do something. They're not going to go, especially with the visceral reaction that like everyone has had. I don't think they'll, they'll probably change some things, but even like I've seen so many games say, hey, January 1st, you better have our game downloaded or else it's being deleted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Call to the Lamb is basically already yeah. threatened that they're going to take up, they're going to delete their game if they do that. I'm like, it's a, don't do that. It's Cult of right. Lamb is a great game. <laughs> Go buy Cult of Lamb, everybody. It's a great game. <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't know. It's just wild to me that <laughs> they're just like shooting their foots. I don't know. It's it's kind of crazy just to think about like what a and like to put in during this week what a, what a best time it's yeah everyone's exactly <laughs> and, and the problem that, that a lot of developers are coming out and and making these statements too is that. Mm -hmm. They've already invested several years of development using that engine, yeah. and now they have to train all their their entire teams either on a new engine, mm -hmm. um, which is like cost, it's going to cost them a delay and also like a lot of time and money in order to be able to have them learn a brand new thing, un unless the developers already have that kind of knowledge, um, or or they're going to have to sit and wait to see if Unity actually is going to back down from this or what. Like it, it's put so much development on hold because of a boneheaded move from a former ea ceo who just basically just wants to grab as much money as possible and i'm just like it's it it's so dumb it's so dumb yeah it's it's wild to me um well i guess that's pretty much it we did it folks under uh, under two hours we did it look at I'm, us I'm look, very at us, proud. Look, look at us go <laughs> look at the whole yeah, jam-packed episode that. so much yeah. news happened this thought. week i was so scared thought, you know? this was gonna be like a four <laughs> not me <laughs> uh sammy what what's going on this week we got for us the, like wait, it's thursday right okay so let's, let's it is up thursday. the weekend is, yeah. is happening um <laughs> uh, but not much i'm hoping to get back into streaming because i've been lacking a little bit over at twitch.tv slash um All but right. besides that you could find me anywhere instagram twitter at pita's pants so yeah awesome. come say hi steve v we got for us man uh yeah the, the time that everyone's listening to this all my spider-man 2 coverage will be out there across all social media so just keep up with me at s Vigvari across all social sites and find it everywhere uh but other than that i'm probably gonna sleep <laughs> all weekend long i am exhausted <laughs> where's the uh spider-man gonna be published on uh, so I have a review going up on my other podcast, Creature Cast. I have okay. the re transcribed review of that going up on Console Creatures, and then I'm gonna have like a whole bunch of like social uh, posts with like B-roll footage that I was able to take away with uh, from from Insomniac, and yeah. Awesome. So yes, definitely check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steve yeah. Sailor, sir, oh. how's it going? What you got? What yeah, you got hey, hi. Yeah, um, hi. <laughs> I can I can definitely say uh, next week uh, I will have 
uh, not one, but two reviews, uh, accessibility reviews coming out. I will be doing a re uh, accessibility review for Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, I know it's already out as of next week, but uh, I will be able to t take a look at the accessibility of that. Uh, and I can actually confirm as of today, I can be able to talk about it. I am going to be looking at the new Cyberpunk 2077 Ooh. Phantom Liberty DLC. Hell yeah. uh, and I'll also be trying out the update 2.0, see if there's, you know, any accessibility stuff I can be able to find. And uh, I'm ready to go into Night City and, and or Dogtown and find uh, Idris Elba and just, you know, hang out with him uh, for the weekend. So um, you cool. stay tuned for like next week will be for that. So I think uh, I'll put up the more combat review as soon as I can, mm -hmm. but the Cyberpunk will go up on the 20th i think uh is the is the date for that hell yeah hell yeah and by awesome. the way i love the um forza mortisport video as well you guys should definitely check oh, that out thanks. over on steve as well like, yeah that was hey, great it was really really i guess it was like a triumphant story even though i knew the spoiler was in the title i was like but like did he is he gonna win like it was a really well told story so i really enjoyed that thank um, you uh riley what do you got uh we'll be doing a lot of pre-orders for some of the stuff that was announced uh today or yesterday if you're listening to this mm -hmm. uh and looking forward to learning more about spider-man and i guess i'll probably play some starfield i feel like i'm so far behind on games Damn. Oh, yeah. 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 Same, you're not yeah. you're not alone you're not alone because don't forget yeah. lies of p comes out next week too so there's no lies of, <laughs> lies of p is out next week Mortal Kombat is out for everyone else if you uh, get, we get the standard oh, yeah. edition Mortal as Kombat well. As well, yeah. Yeah, and then um, I believe Cyberpunk as well next week, right? Is all that next week? Are you streaming uh, all those games? I'll just watch your stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna try this game and finish. Uh, I'll finish it ne like next month or something like that, you know. So um, I'm actually gonna be diving into some Mortal Kombat uh, today as well. I, got, I was able to get a key for that, but I'm also going nice. to be doing some. Uh, um, Oh my god, I almost crossed over the wrong games, but the crew Mortar Fest. <laughs> uh, I'll be playing some more of that oh, today, oh. which I'm really, really, uh, really enjoying that game as well. So, um, it's a really, it's a really well made game. I keep forgetting there's actually planes and boats in the game because they they strongly focused on mortar, mortar like vehicles this time mm, than like yeah. planes and everything. So, cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And we'll see you guys next week, folks. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye.